Hilda Twebaze is a resident of Utoro village. Like most of her village mates, Twebaze relies on wood for all her energy needs. Mother of four has used wood fuel all her life and sees no end to this type of livelihood. Across the road is Janina Bosinje, an astute businesswoman who lives off selling wood. She has run this business for over 30 years and is one of the main wood fuel suppliers in Nubirizi district. Nubirizi is a cold, hilly district with fertile black soils. Most hills are, however, bare as the demand for firewood and timber has outpaced replanting efforts. Biofuel use is on the increase, with 200,000 hectares of tree cover destroyed annually to provide energy to Ugandans. Most of this destruction goes towards providing charcoal and firewood to the rising population, especially in the emerging towns. Janina Nabokeda, NBS, live at 9. 100 years ago, a young British Member of Parliament called Winston Churchill on a mission to Africa described Uganda as the Pearl of Africa. He was amazed by the beautiful forests, wildlife, and the fertility of the land. He wrote back to his country and said, Concentrate here. This is the Pearl of Africa. 100 years later now, because of population explosion, the situation has changed. Just as you have watched in the video, Mother Nature is under attack. Under attack by the very people she feeds every day. 90% of Uganda's energy comes from biomass. Only 1% from electricity. Uganda is the size of Britain. But it consumes more charcoal than the whole of the European Union countries combined. In order to maintain a, house, a household in the urban city of Uganda, a family utilizes one ton of charcoal annually. This is equivalent to cutting down 88 medium-sized trees. With 850,000 households, living in the urban cities of Uganda. This means 750 billion trees have to be cut down annually to provide charcoal for the Ugandan kitchens only. My name is Okoth Geoffrey Yoga. I'm fixing this problem. In 2015, I left my construction job. From my savings, together with that of my co-founder, Silva, we formed a company, Green Chaco Uganda. It is a company that manufactures bri briquettes from agricultural waste like rice husks, maize cobs, pumpkin oak husks, and coffee husks. In the last three years, we have produced over 800 tons of briquettes, saving over 70,000 trees from being cut down to be used to produce firewood and charcoal. We produce two types of products, carbonized briquettes, which replaces charcoal and non-carbonized briquettes, which competes with firewood. Our target is increase our production four times to 2,400 tons in the next two years. But this 2,400 
is just less than 1% of the biofuel demand in Uganda. But you can see it is a good start anyway. But in order to do this, we are looking for 170,000 euros. I'm Geoffrey Kosioga, the founder of Green Chaco Uganda. I may not be with Son Churchill, but I would say with this, the pearl of Africa shall rise and shine again. Gracias, Tante. Gracias, Tante. Gracias a todos.